Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part one for a series of tutorials I'm going to be doing. It's probably going to be three or four parts. And uh, this is going to be on how I made uh, Alan the Alien and showing you how to use um, pretty much the same techniques for your characters. And think of this as like a introduction to character modeling and making tutorials and stuff like that. You know, it can help. Well, once you start making a few characters here and there, it starts to get really natural and easy. And I'll show you uh, how I did everything. So we're going to be mainly focusing on modeling, lighting, and compositing, and uh, focusing on things like uh, new things like color ramps, and, uh, certain things in the note editor, how to make your model appear like it's kind of glowing, and all that stuff. So yeah, so uh, if you like this. Subscribe to my page, add me as a friend if you need a friend, and uh, check out some more of my tutorials. This is, I think, my 39th tutorial, so get into a nice uh, large number. And yeah, so if you guys ever need anything, just message me. Okay, so the clock's ticking. We got already a minute, almost a minute, and uh, what, like 20 seconds. So yeah, so let's get started. So. Well, I'm going to show you a few modeling techniques, so press tab to go into edit mode. Now you have this, so let's make that uh, open part for the mouth. So press Control r to add a loop cut, and you'll see this um, pink line here. I hope you can see it with the recording. So if, we're going to make this line turn to two lines, or, or you can have as many lines as you want. But to do that, you just uh, roll up on your mouse wheel, but if you don't have a mouse wheel, just press the plus sign the plus um, key on your uh, keyboard and then you just middle mouse click or press enter either or works fine now you're going to want to add just one more on the side here you press enter on middle mouse click now go into no, sorry go into face select mode and you want to select shift right click these three so just hold shift and right click these three and then press delete and instead of deleting the vertices just delete the faces Okay, now we have a nice uh, mouth hole for it. Now, let's, before we add the mouth here, let's make it so that we can extrude that um, eye neck thing that I had. So, I want one face here, not three. So, what you're going to want to do is select this face here, or these four vertices, press, uh, and delete the vertices. Now, we're going to make a face. Really easy to do. You can only make faces with three or four vertices selected. Like, let me show you. If you only select two and you press F, it just creates an edge. But we don't want that. We want face. So select these four and press F. And it creates a face. And that's how you create faces. So you want to select these three here. Press F. These three here. Press F. And now we have uh, the ability to select four. And you press F. And now we have a nice center for the uh, jaw to be in even vertices and just do the same here three three bottom and top vertices press F and then select the middle ones now make sure you're not selecting any vertices behind there so okay so now we got this pretty cool now we need one face for the bottom part too so again delete those bottom vertices select these four bottom ones okay and press F select these four F and select these four and press F okay now we're gonna do the inside of the mouth I'm gonna save the teeth for a different part this is just the basic model of the mess so select these four and press F simple enough and do the same thing with the back part of the mouth, these four and F, and the top. Select the four. Remember, I'm just shift right clicking and pressing F. Now, press space select mode so it'll be easier to select. Select this. I press E, right click to cancel out the selection. Now, just scale down a little bit, bring this down on the Z axis a little, and that'll give it the feeling of like a like there's a, an indention in the mouth and it gives it just the slightest bit of unnoticeable you know 
just an unnoticeable effect. Now, back to the um, uh, vertex mode, side view, and we're gonna make it so that it seems like it's almost smiling a little bit. So select these vertices by box selecting. Just go up here, press B, click and drag over the vertices you want, and it selects them. I've said that in many of my tutorials. So just scale up a little bit, right about there, and then you want to just bring it up. Okay, and then just select these two vertices and just bring it up there. Okay, now you'll notice that it uh, scaled out, so I'll just select the vertices out here. Oops, sorry, click them all. It's FX until you get what you want there. And okay, it's pretty good. So now, let's extrude that eye thing. So let's go into face select mode. Or actually, let's just stay here. In, uh, vertex select mode. And you want to press E, extrude the region. Right click to cancel out this, the movement. Press S, and you'll scale down to right about there. Now that's all we need for that view mode. Just press side. Now just press E, extrude the region, bring it out. Bring it about there. Rotate it, scale it down a little bit, and extrude again. Rotate, move. Now hold Alt and right click this if you're not happy with the positioning, because I'm not really happy with it. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, and if you need to select these, just Alt right click, and if it doesn't do it, just box select it. Where are you? Everybody about there, okay. Rotate, go down a tiny bit. It's pretty much it. But it's, there's a lot of repetitive motion when it comes to character animation, I mean, modeling and animation and everything like that. So let's bring this one back. And you want the last one to end right about here where this line is, where the where the mouth ends, right about there. So let's select this here, we're going to want to make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, now we're going to want to put a loop cut here. Oh, uh, let me say that again. You want to put a loop cut right here. You know, mouse select it and just give it that little extra curviness. Alt right click that. Okay. And check it out. Pretty cool. Now, you want to select these four vertices. Press E to extrude the region. Right click to cancel it out, uh, the movement. Scale it down. And now you want to extrude again. And the reason you want to do this is because if we would just move it back, it would get a weird. Um, the faces would stretch. Yeah. So we don't want that to happen. So press E, extrude the region. Right click and just drag it along the Y axis. Bring it up a little bit on the Z axis. So that's it. So now that we have this, all this, we can add a subsurf modifier. Add modifier sensor. I can give it two levels and sets mode. So there we have this. So yeah, it's coming along. So first time we go to end mode, I'm gonna select this outer thing, this outer loop by press uh, by holding Alt and right clicking. Just scale that up a little bit. Bring that out, um, out a little. Select this one. Just, you know, scale it up. And um. Yeah, so I think we got enough done for this part. So in the next part, we're going to um, give him an eye, model the bottom part. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what we're going to do for the next part. And I'm going to be posting that tomorrow. So yeah, so it's going to be pretty, I'm going to keep these tutorials fairly short because, you know, I don't want to bore you guys. So yeah, so that's it. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff and um, yeah I suggest subscribing if you haven't because there's going to be a few parts so you know you don't want to watch one part and miss the other one because you know you might miss it and uh, yeah so I have plenty of other good tutorials so check those out if you need to or want to so thanks for watching